In this video, we present district management in mastering. The different elements of the district, whether actor or device, have different roles, which can be of consumption, production, or management of energy. In mastering, we are achieving smart district management through the introduction of a new actor, the flexibility manager. Deferable loads, renewable production, and storage systems are the basic building blocks of a flexible management of energy. Each home can possess one or several of these elements. Moreover, they have preferences and constraints over these flexibilities. For instance, when to use a washing machine, auto consumption, and storage availability. A smart home is at the core of a smart district. However, a set of smart home is not enough to build a smart district. A new actor, the flexibility manager is needed. It will be in charge of achieving the goals of the district. More precisely, the flexibility manager provides district-level service to the DSO, for instance, of reducing the peak loads above a given threshold. The DSO informs the flexibility manager of needs, which then answers them by cooperating with the smart houses of the district. District management and mastering proceeds in two iterated steps. In the first step, homes minimize their energy bill by scaling their flexibilities, which results in an optimized consumption profile. Let us see in more details how the homes can do so. Firstly, by taking into account forecasted renewable production. Secondly, a smart home is able to identify to which device imputes some of its consumption. And more importantly, it knows within which range this device can be used, further reducing the demand. Lastly, storage can be used to shift energy through time by consuming energy at a given point and releasing at a later one. The combination of these different techniques results in a smoother energy demand, yielding reduced peak loads. Because each house is in direct control of the scheduling of its flexibilities, this approach respects autonomy. Moreover, because each actor knows only its own objective function, this approach respects privacy. At the end of step 1, the flexibility manager receives the consumption profiles. In the second step, the flexibility manager computes and sends price signals to the smart homes. It first computes the aggregated profile of the district. Then, taking into account the DSO needs, it derives the desired reduction and the economic signal, the price of electricity, used as an incentive for the house to participate in the scheme. These signals are then transmitted to the houses, which will iterate the first step, taking into account this new information, update the scheduling of their flexibilities, and send back an updated profile to the flexibility manager, which will in turn adapt its price signals. Procedure is iterated until it converges. Because actors coordinate via simple message exchange within the district neighborhood, this approach respects both local communication and scalability. Let us see in more details what actual optimization looks like on a simple scenario with three houses, one PV unit, and a storage. The algorithm works directly on the energy demand by shifting small amounts of energy in a priority that weighs, here to reduce the peak, until the flexibilities are exhausted. As a result, it produces a schedule for flexibilities which respects their different constraints. Here, we superimpose the initial demand in red and the finite demand in blue. The impact on peak load reduction is clearly visible. Thanks to district management, it's possible to achieve a better and scalable management of energy at the district level, while at the same time respecting each actor's goals and constraints.